Now I find this very interesting indeed, very interesting. Now I made this video a day or so ago here about big nail in round earth coffin. And I've had some very good comments. Thanks Geek Nose, very good points are made here. Good video, thank you sir. Um, this one, Sunset Lights uh, comment, very interesting about the bar associations and it's something I've talked about before. So people getting on to these sort of ideas, very good because this is what the reality you've been given. Temple bar reality. And I've got a lot of uh, shares here. But notice the uh, non-presence of any of the uh, round earth trolls or even just people, normal people who believe in round earth, any activity out of round earth here and uh, any answer to the uh, problem. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. So that just goes to show, I said that when I made it. They don't want to comment on this because they wouldn't want this idea getting around too far. But eventually a few people see this, uh, somebody else, no doubt some of the shill um, channels that promote flat earth because there are shill channels on that too. I mean every argument here has got a couple of sides and all the promoted channels will be getting in there because they'll get their hundred thousand views. You know how it works. Come on. So uh it's just interesting though, they don't want to touch this idea here. I just thought that was hilarious. No, nah, no sorry, we don't know about that. But that just sort of stay a bit dormant for a while. Just like my McCartney and Obama thing, remember? Just like Sarah Ferguson and the Omen ideas and many things. And, of course, transvestigation. Even though they bring out Jenna, it doesn't make a lot of people think, well, maybe there's something in what that guy was saying. As I said, Jenna was born a woman. It's just good to know the reality and not be caught up in their rubbish. And then you can see that extra bit through them. Because they've got a big game in hand here, no doubt. So it's good to be accurate. But the main purpose of this video is not about that. It's about the spinning idea, because this hasn't been covered properly by anyone really. It has been covered somewhere, but often in a long video, and a lot of people don't get through to that part, or it could be one of those videos with all music playing and, you know, pointers, diagram things, you know, you've got to have some narration really at a stage here, or really good text, you know, that shows I see so many videos and I'm just putting my hand over my head just going why are they making this so hard to understand that's a that's a big problem on YouTube with anything so we try and just do things on this channel that at least you've got some idea with you know and that's surprising too that more people don't share this work because I just throw a few things up that I can see that are relevant to a topic I don't pretend to be the greatest brain on this planet but I'm good at seeing through bullshit and certainly this image here is total bullshit, as we all know. Well, well been talked about. And uh, the big thing is atmosphere. And it just hasn't been talked about enough. I mean, if the thing is spinning at a thousand miles an hour, it's 24,000 miles circumference and it's supposed to do it in uh, 24 hours. So there you go, thousand miles an hour. Uh, well, the atmosphere. How's it clinging on? And an even bigger point that was on a video, uh, comment on my video is, if space is a vacuum, how is it we even have an atmosphere? Because if you know anything about a vacuum, a vacuum is like it says in a sense, a vacuum, it sucks you in. So why isn't the atmosphere sucked straight off the earth? So they're big, big problems to me. I'd like a good solution. One of these smart people that, uh, Hone around, uh, people I've known in the past here that have made good videos at the time. And I'm sure we'll continue to and we'll, we'll see that there's a bigger thing to look at than any one issue anyway. But certainly to be in bed with, um, bees, nightly bees and things, you know, and they're not really in bed with them, but to have those people comment, it just shows you the level, you see. They don't come near my channel. They know better. Uh, of course I get the, 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 nondescript trolls do me because they don't want those people don't want to have anything appear on their page that they've been near my channel because that's going to give me more views so there's a there's a lot of trickery going on here with uh youtube and view rates that's for sure but atmosphere here is a big problem huge problem 
uh, it would all have to be in a glass ball. It's the only way that could happen. It would all have to be spinning in a glass ball. Now, when you see the night sky, uh, you certainly don't sense that there's a, a glass sky between us and any of the objects. Maybe beyond the objects, that's another uh, matter. Uh, these are big, big issues. I'm going to do stuff on planets, so I'm going to have to leave that for a further video. Just mainly the idea, a simple idea, or just finish on that really, just getting that idea across. But how can the air atmosphere stick with the solid planet? And if it was spinning, it tend to do some wild things with the water, because water's movable. I mean, if you, you could get a globe to hold water, in an experimental basis, say magnetized water somehow, so it's going to stick to the mag uh, magnetic ball and uh, spin it around. Of course, there's uh, been a video made about, you know, because things are so large, obviously it's not the same as a small thing going fast. So all speed is sort of relative to um, an object next to you. There was a video done by a channel like the Eye Channel, and it was. Uh, you know, he had some truth there in what he was explaining. He went a really long-winded way of explaining it. Just that if two objects are moving at the same speed and they're passing each other, um, or one was stationary and one's moving just slowly past, as it were, you wouldn't be able to tell or even fast unless you had sort of a relative point, you know. I'm getting very confusing here, and I just don't want to make this video confusing. So I'll, I'll attack that in another video just about the way they talk with things and they try and build little things. It's not the point, you know, a big mass of water in the ocean spinning around, just even, it doesn't have to be relatively spinning that fast. You know, it's only going one revolution in a whole day. Uh, so get any, any, just hold a tennis ball and take a day to spin it. You can sort of see what I mean relatively there. Uh, hopefully you can anyway. But still, it's the force, the, the, uh, the big force of, of the volumes here, just a little bit of pressure on the ocean, you know, from this, it would certainly not be the still ocean that we see some days like that. That that also is a worry. But how does this atmosphere cling? Come on, I want an answer to this. Let's just see. In about five days, I bet I'll check this video's comments, and there's not one decent answer to the clinging of the atmosphere. And I said it in another video. And even if Okay, we'll give them a, a say, we'll say 50 feet, 100 feet of atmosphere clean, or even 30,000 feet of atmosphere is clean. Wouldn't there be a lag off? I said this before. So, so even in giving them a little, little, uh, extra bonus point, can they explain the lag off even? You know, that's just ridiculous. If no lag off, there's no way any of this can be true, unless it's the glass ball. So it's very, very, uh, you know, it's impossible. We'll just call it improbable. Let them have a go. You know, let them wallow in the mud. But truly, we know this is a fake. And the last point I should make too, wouldn't um, NASA, for all the money they've been given, and the Russian Space Agency and European Space Agency, wouldn't it be at least in your interest to prove the curvature, clearly and definitively, with all that money? Couldn't they do it? Wouldn't it be easily available? How come it isn't? And I said, with uh, events like long tunnels, wouldn't they be heralding? And I've mentioned this before, no one's listened, no one's commented on that video from that camp, they've avoided it. Probably some of them have watched it and have gone, shit, probably trying to do some homework and trying to come up with a solution, there will be some. Uh, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting indeed. And what's your solution here for atmosphere? I'm waiting. 